Hello, my name is Mark Schippen-Mueller. I'm a product manager at Aerie for Camera Systems, and I'm going to try to tell you something about the workflow for the Alexa Mini LF right now. So this is a workflow, you know, be cautious, go grab yourself a cup of tea or a beer, whatever is your favorite drink, sit down, relax, we'll talk workflow now. Let's start with the Aerie look management. We have a look management system based on the Aerie Look File 2 that's become very popular. It's transparent. You record all the files and metadata. It goes through into post-production. Very, very useful. This works also in the Alexa Mini LF. You can monitor your looks, and the looks will get recorded in metadata. The only difference to the other cameras is, at this point in time, this camera records Aerie RAW or ProRes Log C. You can't actually record a look onto the ProRes footage. And then let's talk about the internal recording. There are two different types of files you can record with this camera. We can internally record uncompressed and unencrypted MXF Arri RAW, and we can record fast and efficient MXF ProRes. And what do we record this on? We record this onto a new medium. This is the Codex Compact Drive 1 terabyte. It's a small drive, so in comparison, I have an SXR capture drive here, so you can see how much smaller this is. It's a very cute drive. It's also very cost efficient. This is a relatively affordable one terabyte drive, and it's very robust and reliable. We will use this drive also for future cameras, so investing in this drive is a future-proof investment. Now, how do I read the footage from this um, compact drive? There's a compact drive reader that attaches to a computer via USB-C, and this compact drive reader is affordable, reliable, and it works without any extra software. So on the Mac or Windows machine, you connect the USB-C reader to the Mac, the Windows machine, and you don't need any extra software, no license, no driver. It just works and can read out the drive. And then there's a second option. There is the compact drive adapter, and I have one right here. Compact drive adapter looks actually very similar to an SXR capture drive. And then if you look at the other side, there's a slot, and my compact drive goes straight into the slot, and now I can take this and put it into any SXR type reader, and this will work. Now, here I have the advantage I get almost double the speed of the compact drive USB-C reader. So for all of you who have SXR capture drive readers, this is a great um, option. Now, what kind of recording formats can you record? Here you can see the recording formats from the Alexa LF, and then also from the Mini LF, so we have the same recording formats on Alexa LF and Mini LF, and here you can also see all the photo sites that you record and the pixels you record in the files. For those of you who like to see pictures, we have the next slide, which shows you pictures. Here you have the pictures. Like in the Alexa LF, there are three basic sensor modes, open gate, 16 by 9, and 2.39 to 1. In open gate, you can record Airy RAW or ProRes in full beauty, full resolution. In 16x9, you can record every RAW and ProRes in UHD at full resolution, or you can ask the camera to downraise the footage for you to either 2K or HD. This is great if you want the large format look, but don't want to record that much data. And then last but not least, in 2.39 to 1, you can record every RAW or ProRes in full beauty at the full width of the sensor. So some of you may have paid attention. You noticed that I said MXF Apple ProRes instead of QuickTime Apple ProRes. It's true, we're switching from the QuickTime container to the MXF container for the ProRes recording. Um, the camera records an MXF Apple ProRes 4x4XQ, 4x4, and 422HQ. And you may ask, why MXF? Well, MXF is now supported by Apple. MXF is an open SMPTE standard. And we've had a number of requests from customers for MXF because it allows much easier access to metadata. So we're switching to MXF as the container for Airy RAW. We've already done that with the Mini, but now we're also switching as the container for ProRes. All future cameras will have Apple MXF ProRes, and existing cameras will stay with a QuickTime Apple ProRes because we don't want to mess with that. That works fine. We'll leave that as it is. Now, how are you going to play back your MXF Apple ProRes files? Well, on Mac OS X 10.14.3 or later, there's an MXF plugin that's included in the Apple Pro apps, or you can download it from the Apple website. Just search for Pro Video Formats 2.1. And on Windows machine, you can use the Airy Color tool, which we will change, the VLC, or other tools that will come online soon that will also support um, MXF Apple ProRes. 
Another new technology I'd like to explain is what's called Codex High Density Encoding, or HDE. This is a way to reduce the data rate of ARRI-RAW. ARRI-RAW, of course, is the best way to record the footage from the Alexa Mini LF. It's uncompressed, unencrypted, the highest quality image, but it's a lot of data. What HDE does is it reduces the data by about 40% during the download process from the magazine to your computer. It is a bit identical lossless encoding process, so you don't lose any of the image quality, and it perfectly preserves the image quality of ARRI-RAW. Now, HDE is pretty fast. So for instance, we did tests on an ARRI-RAW OpenGate 4.5K file that can be encoded comfortably at 24 frames a second on a modern MacBook Pro. And HDE is free of charge. Anybody who uses a Codex Capture Drive or a Codex Compact Drive can use HDE free of charge. It's part of the new Codex Device Manager software that has HDE included. Now, HDE is also being shared. Um, Codex is sharing how it works. And so a lot of companies, including Simulate, Codex, Colorfront, Filmlight, Imagine Products, Pomford, Yoyota, Marvel, Netflix, Photocamp, Sony, others, they're all using um, HTE. They have the capability to deal with this footage. And the SEMTI recommended disclosure document, the SEMTI RDD, is in progress right now. To summarize this, you lower storage costs, you shorten the transfer times, and you have a faster workflow. And that's a 40% direct savings in time and money. One of the great things about the ARRI cameras is that we also have a number of online tools and apps that support you in the workflow. And for the Mini LF, we've updated our apps. They're all aware of the Mini LF now, and we've also made some changes. First of all, we have the ARRI color tool that allows you to create lookup files for the cameras that has been updated for the Mini LF. We have the ARRI RAW converter. That's a reference tool that can debayer ARRI RAW footage and show it to you in full color. And we have the ARRI Meta Extract. That is a tool that can extract the metadata from a file and save it in different file formats. Online tools, there, of course, is the simulator that allows you to play with a menu online to get yourself familiar with the camera. We have the formats and data rate calculator, very useful for DITs who want to calculate how much footage creates how much data. And then we have two other tools, the Frameline Generator and the Lens Illumination Guide. And we've combined those now into the Frameline and Lens Illumination tool. This is a new tool that, in a very beautiful way, allows you to see which lens covers what sensor mode. And you can also have your own frame lines right on top of that. That's it for the um, workflow for the Mini LF. Go out there, shoot some beautiful large format footage. Thank you very much.